Hey guys, welcome back to the Grinning Dragon. My name is Christopher, and this is the Dungeons and Lasers Zeno Dragon plastic miniature. I got this one back at the last Kickstarter they had. It was for like their dungeon tile sets and sci fi dungeon tile sets. They also had these epic dragons in which you could get as well. Um, I believe they did theirs for like, I think they were like 50. Uh, they might have been 30. I'm not sure exactly. Gotta look back. But, anyways, um, they're gonna have another Kickstarter coming up soon here called Woodhaven. And that's their uh, campaign setting, and where she'll have like a little village and sewer system for Woodhaven and a little scenario with them. So, I'll show you that Kickstarter later in this video. So, Let's go ahead and take this guy open and see what kind of sprues he's on. This should be good. I'm a big alien fan, and this thing right here is like right up my alley. So let's take a look. Okay guys, so I got the sprues out and everything, and um, it's looking pretty good. Sorry for the setup here. Still trying to get ready to move, so just kind of making do with what I got. But anyway, we take a look at these sprues here. It's actually pretty good quality sprues here. You know, it's really solid plastic resin. Um, high detail, you can see the arm there, and then here's the base. You know, very alien style. Uh, you know, going after that Geiger inspired type of aesthetic, as we all know aliens are. Um, look at how big that tail is. It's huge, man. Look at that wingspan. I mean, this thing is looking pretty great, okay? So now, this guy here. And this is kind of like the eggs <laughs> where the face huggers are at. Some of them are kind of opening. You know, just great little claws. Something for the bases. Now, the what's nice is this is very beginner friendly. Uh, Especially since it already comes with a pre-done base. Most bases in the miniature hobby are not finished. And you'd have to go ahead and add flocking to them and add uh, more stuff to it to make it a little bit more textured. Uh, even more so, you know, interesting. But this thing here comes with its own, like, kind of decorations and eggs and stuff. And you can see little spots where you could put the eggs in and everything and where the dragon actually probably connects there. So now, what's nice about this one is, I'll give you a manual. Now, you know most people would know if you collect miniatures that uh, the manuals are pretty important. And what's nice enough is, if you ever built Legos like kid when you were a kid, guess what? It's just about the same thing. I mean, this is kind of like just like building a Lego set. The only thing is, uh, it does require you to have some glue. So uh, I usually recommend you using some super glue um there used to be like really good plastic kind of glue but i prefer myself some super glue uh never goes wrong um i prefer the gel kind you could kind of use whatever you want really but i prefer my own type of you know unique little super glue there <laughs> so we'll see that okay and um let's get this guy put together and i'll uh, give you my thoughts on it
And there it is, folks. The Zeno Dragon. All of its glory. A fun miniature to build. Took me a little bit, but overall it looks fantastic. Uh, it's great to scale with Dungeons and Dragons, of course. And I'll show you next to um, a couple of my humanoid miniatures. Uh, instructions were really easy to follow. Like I said, just like building a Lego set, guys, that's all miniatures are. Uh, just some extra super glue and some snips there, here and there. Um, there is some flashing lines, in which I'll have to clean up, as well as some uh, lines where they have connections to hide, you know, make it a little bit transitions a little bit smoother. Um, but overall, the level of detail on this is excellent. It's very well done, very well made. Um, like I said, I put these together with a little bit more of like uh, the those, you know, tack, sticky tack right there, here and there for the arms and legs. Um, that's just so I could kind of kind of pack it a little bit easier for now. I'll be probably magnetizing this, but. Uh, usually the connection between the tail and the body is going to have to be probably glued. Now, I didn't actually glue this, funny enough, to the base. Uh, it's kind of crazy, I know, but it has a little peg on the base there, which I'll show you here in a second. So, take a look. That little peg right there is part of the tail. All right. So you don't actually have to glue it to the base, which is pretty great if you're like me and love to paint these things. So, I mean, you could always paint the base and then paint the tail and then just stick it back in there, you know. You have an ability to paint the model itself and then, you know, pop it back onto the base. And you'll have a fully painted, detailed base, guys. All right, guys, this is the Dungeons & Lasers third edition um, on Kickstarter um, actually it was supposed to be launching May 4th so by the time this recording hits uh, YouTube it should be live uh, usually it takes about till probably noon uh, central standard time uh, my end but these guys are in Europe so um, all their money's uh, pledged towards the euros so we had about like six bucks around that, you know. Um, but anyway, they had um, pre-launch stretch goals. So these guys are have been doing this for quite some time. Um, and they've kind of built up a reputation. You could kind of check them out on YouTube, other reviews for them and whatnot. But, you know, I never really talk about Kickstarters I don't find interesting and, you know, uh, companies that have been successful in the past um, but anyway moving forward there we can see you got like a street lamp is added onto it a roof rooster some sewer monsters a mayor bulbo which is like actually one of their mascots um, bulbo is actually kind of a almost like a floating eye almost like a beholder um, I guess it's by their beholder, essentially. Um, a childish Roblino, which is their goblin mascot as well. Um, and this, let's go see here. Now, as we go on, they, like I said, they have their own Discord, Facebook group. You go check them out at all time. Um, again, this should be out within 48 hours, though. Um, they have an early bird bonus. So if you want to hop on that, if you go ahead, get the 85 euro pledge. You already get this little guy almost well four full inches for free essentially it's a uh, abomination essentially kind of world of warcraft ish thing about it uh, i think his name was like stitches or something uh, but i don't know just kind of takes me back a bit all right as you can see from the pledges here you got a one dollar one which is you know you get the campaign pdf um, you can build your own pledge later on if you don't have the money for it. Usually it gives you access to the pledge manager. Most Kickstarters will start off with $1 just to get access to the pledge manager. That way when you do save up the money, um, 
you could go ahead and purchase any add-ons that you want as like a packaging of course you won't get um, really this guy here because it doesn't qualify for that 85 euro pledge like it says um, but estimated delivery would be within about two years for all the new stuff okay um, now the guy there you know if he had like a little feedback there uh, again this is before it's even launched um, so 67 miniatures for start 12 terrain themes I mean they got stuff going on like 29 euros you get one townsfolk starter set and I'll show you what that's gonna be it's coming up here in a little bit and you got 85 euros right there that's the village pledge so you get one course set or two rooms of your choice there and then you get three extra rooms of your choice one townsfolk starter set or you could trade it in for another room guys that's like more dungeon tiles and terrain for you okay now you got you get your stretch goals as well you'll get the campaign book and PDF okay now that's gonna be paperback which is great and then you got the connector second edition there which is essentially if you collected warlock tiles before or had some sort of like connection for tiles this would be your thing all right similar to that let's show you a little bit here now remember when I said about dragons so their second edition I believe had uh, dragons that's where I got the Xeno dragon here and they had like you know a fantasy dungeon set as you can see here this is like from their second edition set here and you could get these dragons now there was about seven dragons you could get and they were all around 30 euros so about 36 US dollars so now you could go ahead and pledge 99 again and you could get seven of the dragons from like the last Kickstarter okay these are kind of two of the other ones like their gold and their bone dragon so we'll go and they'll show those off again here in a little bit okay and you know they got a United Kingdom only pledge so if you're in the UK you know they got you a sweet deal for being local okay, and there's some pictures of their new sewer set which gives you these acrylic tiles of running water <laughs> it's quite something really excellent okay you can get a town pledge course set room of your choice paperback pdf you know now you see here some of these are within like the t you know within a year so that's usually with their rapid delivery they'll estimate about within a year realistically it might take up to two but these guys are pretty quick especially if you bought stuff from like their last campaign that they'll still have or be able to print out quicker they usually will say rapid delivery okay now this is right here is if you're used to like that warlock tile set here all right so these guys is what you use to click together all these tile sets here all right so it makes it nice and easy for you to go ahead and put all these tile sets together and this these would all come unpainted okay so you'd have to paint all of these here okay and these are kind of simple paint jobs so don't feel overwhelmed here okay you shouldn't be spending too much time painting your terrain um, but if you do want to spend time painting your terrain by all means it's very uh, therapeutic therapeutic for me excuse me uh, personally but you know if you go ahead and you know find these like a little bit troublesome to paint I would just say you know just dry brush to the best of your ability on a certain color and move on kind of like these kind of green tiles here where they're kind of dry brushed real quick okay now what's nice about Woodhaven they give you full RPG terrain miniatures you know hard plastic miniatures and dragons and everything you could and they try to make it as affordable as possible and that's what I love about this company here because um, they try to bring everyone in and they try to make it as cheap as possible okay and I mean yeah it's in euros but hey you know it's still quite affordable like $36 for a dragon model it's about six inches up to six inches on average their dragon models are about five to five and a half inches so I mean the Zeno dragon I just opened up in this one here uh, is closer to like five five all right so I mean look at this here you, like you could bend it it's still fine it's really good hard plastic all right 
little clips there, save you time, click them together, and you're done. Okay? And you know, it's again 50 millimeter, 30 millimeter tiles there, so like a 101 fits your 28 millimeter minis there for Dungeons and Dragons style. Okay? Same for Pathfinder if you guys like Pathfinder, no problem. They even got sci fi things, that's why they call it Dungeons and Lasers. Okay? So don't feel like you're stuck with just fantasy. And I mean, like, you, these are like, you know, 13 different themes you could build, bring to the table there. Everything's easily customizable here. You could see, you could even buy, like, stuff that fits into the scenes. Okay. NPC minis. These, this is a big one for me here. As NPC minis kind of bring a little bit more character to the table that you're playing in. Fills up the scene a little bit more. Characters could interact a little better uh, with your scene you know just kind of look into them like NPC characters like really fill it out especially if you're gonna bring this to the table okay and you could always build up on them you know make all those walls you can make verticals nice now some of these things will have this little purple thing right here it says rapid delivery meaning they'll be shipped a little earlier now those just layers just loves to kind of follow up with all their backers so they'll constantly send you email updates and updates on Kickstarter about what's going on and when the rapid deliveries will be going out they're really well organized so alright so here's some themes here okay all models unpainted and unassembled okay so just like my Zeno Dragon I just did today everything here you'll see unpainted and unassembled now the one thing that will have color is these new acrylic water tiles, which are fantastic for the sewer. All right, so that's the only thing that'll show a half color. You could choose which color you want. You want green sewers, you want light blue sewer, you know, teal sewers, or you want like blue sewers, or even just clear water. You could choose whichever one you got. So it tells you how many pieces are in the sewer set there. I mean, you know, you get several. Now the little eye symbol there means they're clear acrylic, so clear plastic models, all right? So not necessarily acrylic, but at least a clear poly resin. Keep saying acrylic because, you know, that's why I sell where I work, so just kind of, kind of used to that. So that's a little royal castle room. Now they sell them by the rooms, typically, and usually when you get the package deal, you, you pick which rooms you want. So you mix and match, all right? So this just to show the scale of your mini. These are usually a one inch by one inch type of square. So you can kind of do the scaling yourself on set on these here. Um, kind of just eyeballing it too. All right, and I mean, they give you quite a bit of parts for each room. These are the new rooms, by the way. So wooden cottage, this one I'm kind of liking a lot. I like uh, kind of making inns, you know, interior houses. And you could always separate these too, you know. And don't feel like you have to get different ones. You could get more of the same and build, I don't know, like this Tudor Mansion here. You could build like a castle. You could do all Tudor Mansions. That would be quite something. You got little stone towers, you know, uh, city, city streets now. Okay, so that's kind of more of the simple one. So it kind of gets you like a, a bustling city. Now this one's impressive to me. It's pretty wide open. So you can pretty much do whatever you want with these guys here in the city streets. It's cobblestone. So it's fantastic for just normal Dungeon Dragons, like quick kind of brawl, you know? And you can place things on top of these. So, I mean, you could do a lot with a city streets one. Um, you can get the roof set. So if you want to kind of hide some things underneath the building there, you can. And then pull these off and look at that. You got to reveal. So it shows you mix and match. So you got your basic roofs, concave corners, which is your valleys. <laughs> you got your ridges here, so you can make hip roofs. And then you could do the frilla walls, which is your gable ends, okay? So then you can make them look like this here, the gable ends. You get your valley mixtures, you know? And I mean, overall, it's great. That's the fantasy core set now. This one was from the last set okay so you get 258 parts in total now this is rapid delivery so you'll get this really quick 
even though you buy a, a lot of the new stuff, you'll probably get this faster than the other stuff. So you could probably get this within the year. Same thing with the Curse Cathedral. You'll get this one within the year as well if you order this one because it's from the last one. All right. And I mean, you can get like half walls, double walls, you know. It's the mine here. And then let's keep going here. Torture chambers. That's always a fun one. You got some skeleton on the wall there. And they even put some chains. So, I mean, all these are very well detailed. Hall of Heroes. You know, kind of Celtic type of symbols. You could even make this into like a dwarven, essentially, type of like hall. Or grand hall or something like that. Little warlock altar. Or like some sort of like mage's room. Okay, and this is the Townsfolk Star set. Now this one's kind of like the one I'm kind of interested in a lot. Because you're given 60 NPCs. Alright. Well, sorry. Yeah, you get quite a bit. Sorry. Um, 60 plus, and you'll get more as um, more people back. So you're not just stuck with just the ones you see right in front of you here. Because they keep adding to it the more people you get to it, alright? So you got your merchants, your innkeepers, tavern maids, blacksmiths. I mean, a whole swordsman. Nobles, you know, peasants. Now, you'll have like some of these guys here that aren't humanoid. It's like elf, male dwarf, you know. And all these have like really cool things. Look at this. They have a beggar. He has one leg and he's got crutches. Like, come on, man. That'd be cool to like, you know, have NPC like that. Got peddlers, you know. Kind of like reminds me of like Majora's Mask almost, where the guy's like carrying all of his masks behind him. These guys here are, they even give you some creatures you can fight, like a rat folk. This guy here is a construct, looking like a really awesome suit of armor. Now, Dungeon Lasers do love their comedy, so they give you Tommy the Ghost. And they even made him like a clear resin. Meaning he's like invisible. He's an actual like kid in a sheet and he's actually a ghost. Come on now. That's that's great. <laughs> Alright, so you get even mounted guards. You get like a commander named Armand. I, uh, I guess he's part of the RPG element of the game here. I mean, look at these. Like, you even get female guards. Different types of mounted guards. You get two of each. Look at all these guards. Two of each almost. Yeah, looking like two of each. And these sculpts are great. And they're all to scale for like a uh, dozen dragons or Pathfinder. So, or any type of fantasy game you want to run. And here's the, uh, you know, Adventures Trial 5e campaign there. Uh, okay. And there's like uh, Mayor Bulbo there. You know, you can see he's like teeth and eyeball kind of sticking out there. But, hey, you know. Great campaign books, who are in a state. You could do a sewer, you could do a, 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 ca a castle contest, you know, and you'll unlock more for this campaign as it goes on, which is great. Now, the dragons are on a rapid delivery, so if you do order these dragons, you'll get them pretty quick. Usually within the year or before the end of next year, you know, they'll usually send the rapid deliveries out pretty quickly. Um, as you can see, like this first one's like six and a half inches tall. So if you want to, and that's counting from like top of the wingspan here to the very bottom of the base. I mean, they're huge, they're pretty big. The same thing there. It's just blue dragon lightning coming out. If you want a little something different, you know, give them a try. Now, if you guys like epic NPC man, this one here, dragon of Schmargar Schmargun Rog, is like a good one there. Kind of harkens back to one of the episodes there. 6.2 inches there for him. So he's pretty mighty. Uh, Draculus the Cunning is more like a vampiric type of dragon. Or just a normal red dragon. You can make him whatever you want. Now Marduk the Titan, Tyrant there is essentially like a, a Avatar Tiamat. So Tiamat, if you know, does dragons. It's a... Uh, essentially a five-headed dragon with each head representing like one of the chromatic spectrums like red red green black white and blue all together 
as one demonic entity and then sometimes you know a worshiper Tiamat could become an avatar Tiamat and this is kind of what you get yeah, I mean he's like five and you know five foot five point seven inches so I mean you know he's not he's not quite big but I mean still pretty good then you got a, a Draco Lich essentially called Thal the Defiler now each one of them has their own names kind of inspire you to make like you know a game out of them there's mine the Zeno Dragon I love this blue paint job looks great you know brings more life rather than doing like a you know just jet black but still gives me ideas and then this one here um Oregon the denouncer uh he still gets he gets rapid delivery I think he was unlocked by the last campaign there I don't remember him being like one to pick out but he's one of the smaller ones he's about five inches tall now this is to show you what you get for your pledge okay so you can see them out like village encounter you know and they kind of break it down so you got to choose one fantasy set like the ones we saw above there or you could do a sewer set and then you pick or two rooms right you pick either any of these okay and then you add three rooms to it now the roof set counts as a room okay guys um, and you could add any any three of these whole things in this box so you could do like the city streets which I would recommend you get a lot of tiles for that and then you could do like maybe you know um, any of the old ones if you want to stick with the new ones you could do like wooden cottages or Tudor mansions you know or royal castles or stone towers you know just whatever you want to pick you know you could pick okay so I you don't know I'm kind of probably mix and match them there pretty excited you also get the townsfolk starter set there which if you don't want the NPCs you could switch this out for an extra room and then you'll get the stretch goals as a gift because that's what most of the tricycles are and then you get your adventurers trail this is the campaign setting for this and then you get the connectors that connect all the tiles together so i mean 85 85 bucks guys i mean 85 euros that's that's really not that bad um comparatively to most other ones like uh, like most other places like you know warlock tiles and dwarven forge usually these are like hundreds of dollars for just one set i mean these guys are giving you a lot for you know what you're getting and you're getting high quality product and you know hardcore resin i mean <laughs> i don't know what to say about that you know it's it's just a good deal it's a great deal so i mean if you guys are wondering it's it's like a hundred bucks hundred two dollars US dollars if you transfer to euros okay I mean quite frankly I mean it's not so bad because usually something like this probably costs you about like 180 or 200 dollars or even more than that depending on uh, who you go with you know and maybe you only get one room okay and that's the town pledge there you know so it's a little bit bigger so of course you're gonna be spending more money because you're gonna get more stuff again you know they're trying to get you the more value you spend the more money you got to spend the better value you get but I mean 85 bucks still 102 if you're in America is still a great deal this one here two hundred three dollars forty cents here for US dollars okay but look you get two core sets or you can pick four rooms off the bat and then you get seven seven rooms of your choice you have the freedom to choose whatever you want guys come on fantastic and of course you got your big old city pledge which essentially should get you everything from this set and everything from the last set plus some extra doubles all right so i mean like you know if you're in the u.s you're only spending like like 50 dollars more than what the euros are saying here so about 299.68 all right i mean 11 rooms three core sets you know or six rooms and then you know 
You, you can pick 11 rooms, whatever you want. You can fill your whole table. And you get your, you know, and of course you get everything like I stated before. Now, now with a dollar, you know, if you're not sure what you want, or you want more stuff to add on to your pledge, you could always buy add-ons. Okay, so these guys here are add-ons. So this one here shows you $29 for this, right? Or you could do dragons only for 99 Okay. And you could add that to like pledges later. Now this is for Kingdom Pledge. This will get you every single thing that's in this Kickstarter plus selecting everything from the last one. So here's your three core suits. You could do six rooms instead, 12 rooms instead of 11. You get all the dragons. You even get the special dragon. Um, you get double no matter what. Uh, Woodhaven trims pack. You get all the fantasy stretch goals from the second edition. All the first edition stretch goals. Battlements. Uh, animal companions off the bat. They're Lord Bulbo. You know, everything closed doors, functional doors, half walls. I mean, everything you could probably ask for. I mean, this will set you up right here for this whole big kingdom set. So you'll probably never ever have to buy like a new set. You know, if you know, you drop like the, the $499 euros or you could spend like $600 um, US if you know you're in the US and get everything. Now here's the other add-ons now. So you could do wooden stairs if you want some staircases there. So that's kind of cheaper there, you know. Some stone stairs. Um, if you want, like I said, townsfolk. Hey, 29 bucks. Nobles themselves is like worth 17. So, yeah, again, Euros, guys. So, just add like a few more bucks for American or US dollars and you'll be okay. You know, you can get all the stretch goals that will be in here just by themselves. If you, you know, just pay that $1, you don't know what you want yet. Street lamps, balusters, the battlements are cool if you're building like a castle type of scene. Uh, trims here, this is what I think is nice. Kind of adds in a little bit more flavor to your scenes. Mm -hmm. You could even pay an extra core set. So like say, I want the fantasy set, right? And I want the sewers. Hey, $34. So about like 36 extra bucks, like 36 to 40 extra dollars. Um, you know get you get you an extra course set on top of whatever pledge you got same thing here if you want extra rooms hey you know add extra rooms whatever you want man okay so in bridges you know that was part of the first set um, so you get rapid delivery on them the dragons layer if you want all the cool dragons uh, minus the uh, special smorgan dragon okay now this one here, is, again, these dragons are like only 36 bucks, US dollars, 29 euros, great. Now animal companions, now this one's kind of funny. Like I said, dungeons and laser guys, so they got some that are from like post-apocalyptic times. So you got like, this one here is like a mimic. You got a bunch of, couple mimics here, like a dragon baby, space dog, you know, all sorts of little animal companions there. You even get like a little goblin that has like a treasure chest, okay? So I mean like they're fantasy and sci-fi. So you can use them for kind of anything. <laughs> so if you missed the first edition, um, they had stretch goals like this here, like a pitch, like some traps in there and everything. Most of the time the stretch goals on these guys are gonna be like stuff to add to the scene. Um, just gives it more flavor, gives it more personality, okay? And you will get fantasy and sci-fi stuff with the stretch goals. So, I mean, if you don't like the sci-fi stuff, you could probably give them your friends that like sci-fi stuff that need terrain. Um, you know, second edition was more fantasy-based. I mean, most of it's fantasy-based either way, but still, you know, kind of adds a little bit more flavor to your scenes, guys, okay? doors themselves you could get doors openings sci-fi so just so much you can add on okay like i said these guys have been around for a while they know what they're doing 
been there for a long time now. Here's some ideas for some stretch goals we got. They usually add more as they go on. Again, during the recording of this, it hasn't launched yet, so. There you go, we got some pirates there, it looks like. Aristocrats, exotic merchants. Some more, uh, looks like an orc and some elf there in the tavern set. Looks like you, you'll be able to build a bar, which is cool, fill out a tavern. And then you give you a forge here and a fire elemental. It's about almost four, like three and a half inches. That's cool. That is cool. Especially their concept art with that. And then if you get like, if you make over 800,000, you'll get a giant model set. Okay. Um, as a stretch goal. And you get this little goblin guy that hangs out on him. He's like four. He's about like the size of one of the dragons. A little shorter. But still, I mean, a giant? Oh, great. Looks like a hill giant. I mean, you can use those on anything. Now, if they make a million, like <laughs> clear plastic ghost dragon. How cool is that? That's freaking awesome, in my opinion. Okay. So, like I said, give it a check out. It should be live by the time this goes live. Again, sorry for the late uh, update and posting. Usually, post new videos every Monday. Mm -hmm. Just fell a little behind this week. So, um, but anyway, tell me you guys what you guys think about these dungeons and lasers, and um, let me know what you think about the uh, Zeno Dragon in the comments below. Okay, and if you um, like the content, uh, feel free to go ahead and. You know, click that like button, give me a subscribe, you know, and uh, let me know what you guys think. And, you know, we'll see you till next time, okay? And don't forget, never stop smiling, guys. Thank you. Have a good night.